Yasis Pedia. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make custom proximity prompts. Now, there's actually like two ways of doing this. You could do it through um, this tutorial, which I'm going to talk about uh, using a little model or something that someone has made already. Or you could do another way, which is going about and basically actually making the GUI yourself. Um, I would prefer this if you're making a really, really like detailed game and you want a certain certain style, but I'm gonna show you a very easy way to do this um, in this tutorial. Um, now, if you're in my, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, we're almost at 60,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, I really appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, so basically you're gonna go to the description and you're gonna click the link right below. Um, it should just be down there it's right there for you and it's gonna pull up this right here for you So, uh, yeah, feel free to grab this. It's going to be the uh, proximity prompt customizer um, This was made by bitwise, which is awesome And I'm actually gonna leave another video in the description about how you can make one customly which we'll talk about uh, but yeah, so Looks like the asset is right here. Uh, this is the readme how to use it um, And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff so you could like change it into a certain way on how you want to do it um Clone the model in your work safe, I'm doing this in the prox uh, starter player scripts, set the style to custom, and then you modify it, um, which is awesome. So, yeah, uh, basically, how we want to do this, um, we're going to do it. So, uh, you can hit get model, you can hit download, whatever's easier. Honestly, I'm just going to hit get model because I think I might use this in the future. Um, but, yeah, so once you get this, um, which I'll talk about, um, okay yeah yeah so once you get this you can actually just go to your toolbox um it should just be in here for you uh proximity prompt customizer said okay um and yeah so uh read me let's look at this so if there's a free model easier to do some stuff place proximity prompt script in starter player scripts so we're going to put this in starter player scripts set one of the proximity assist to have a style of custom so now we are going to go and create a part um i'm going to go and put this part just like right here just for fun which made it a little faster there. And I'm going to go proximity prompt. So I make a proximity prompt. Now, if you guys have never made one before, it's super easy. You just add it right there. And there's actually going to be a lot of stuff right here where you can um, edit. So, you know, do whatever you want, but just make sure that this uh, is set to custom. And um, I'll go max activation distance 10, hold duration will go one second. Um, but yeah, and then perfect. And you can do Xbox, all that kind of stuff. So now that I have this, I'm going to go to the part down. Um, so now I have this. Uh, yeah, so it says, we'll look at that in a second. Thumbnail, we can, uh, oh, this is a proximity prompt already. I'll just delete that um, and delete this. And then we have a readme. So we'll look at the readme. Expand the default. <sighs> oh, wait. No. Oops. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Expand the default as a child of the proximity. Yes. Uh, this is the default proximity. Feel free to look around. Um, don't remove or rename any elements. This is risk breaking the script. So prompt frame, uh, all that kind of stuff. If you want to hide something, make the element fully transparent. Um, okay. Um, as a test, modify the background color of the prompt frame. Press play. You should see that the proximity of the style with a different background color. There you go. Customize way. Once again, do not remove any of these elements from the prompt. The script will break the removal most of them. Adding elements is fine. Make sure the names don't conflict with the existing ones. Um, if you'd like to any add prompts and experience a different theme, duplicate the default door filled and rename it to the type of your theme. On the screen software, I'll just add a theme attribute, the type string. So you're going to add a theme attribute that matches the theme's name. The script will refer to the billboard you add. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. I love this. Very nice of a detailed exploratory thing. Um, so if you guys want to look at this, I think you could just put in starter GUI, maybe. No, you're gonna have to just wait. It's a freaking billboard. I don't to talk about. <laughs> you just put it in the part. Uh, yeah, enabled. Sorry. Oh yeah. So perfect. That is what it's gonna look like. Okay. So that's the default one. Now, if you want to make mess of it. Um, we have an image label. Let's say I go in here. See, is that gonna change the color? Yeah. So you have green. You can do whatever you want. Um, actually, and if you want to make something transparent, she said make it fully transparent, right? Um, yeah, she did. I think she said if you want to make uh where did she say that <laughs> transparent uh transparent stupid oh yeah if you want to hide to make the element fully transparent oh yeah oh fully i'm being why am i being stupid guys 
<laughs> yeah, duh. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna make that transparent because I want to make this kind of look a little different. Object text. Uh, I want to make it. Uh, let's go black, of course, because I want people to see what we're doing. Action text looks good. Uh, input frame. We'll keep it the same. Uh, this frame. We'll keep it the same. We got a progress bar. Button image. Oh, that's gonna be filled. All that kind of jazz. Um, and object text. Maybe I will go and make it a little bold. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of just like how it is actually. So. Um, that seems pretty good to me. Maybe I can go like something like this. Um, yeah. And then basically what she's saying is you just put it back in here and it should just work. Let's just double check. Um, yeah, it works. Um, except the fact that my, uh, interact thing. But yeah. So as you can tell, it kind of does that image around, which is nice. Um, I don't know why the other part, uh, went wrong, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you get the point. Um, and if you want to add, uh, if you want to add some other stuff, okay, that's pretty weird why that one just kind of just went, went off, but, uh, what she's kind of saying though, so if, if you want to add stuff, you can, you totally can, um, it won't break it as long as you make sure the names are different. So if I wanted to just like simply add, a, um, yeah, just something in here and, uh, I don't know, I don't know what I would want to do guys. This is kind of like, you know, different for me. Um, but you'd have to mess around the way you want it to be um, and make sure the sizes and like positions, all that kind of stuff is like much different or whatever. I'm just messing around and being stupid. Um, if you want to add some images, you can. You can change the image. You can also probably just get rid of it. Um, get rid of the uh, some of the stuff like by just making it invisible. Um, but yeah, just make sure most of the stuff's here. Um, and honestly, I think the best way to do it, like, let's say you don't want that. You just kind of want to make it like a, like a, let's see, where's that? Yeah. The progress bar. You can probably just make sure that, uh, visible is off and it will just, it won't do it in general. Um, but you do want something like that. So I wouldn't recommend that. Um, left gradient, right gradient. That's actually really cool. I never saw how this works though, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Um, so that's just a simple tutorial. Now, um, I'm going to actually just like show you uh if you want to just make one in general and you don't want to do it like this um there are other ways of doing this and there's a bunch of tutorials so i'm gonna put them in the description um there is one though you know uh whatever um you can just like put it you could basically make one how you want it to be made and then you will just basically uh tie it to the proximity problem just as how she is doing it um, so I'm going to leave that video in the description. I'm going to leave that for you guys to go check out yourself. Um, I don't want to take credits from the YouTubers because they already have that out here. So um, I'll send this in the description. Go check them out. But yeah, you guys, I hope you had a good one and learned a little bit um, about proximity prompts, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, um, I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.